a man has gone viral for defending his wife's polyamory. Take it away. So your wife's dating another woman. <laughs> nice. All right, whatever's in your head, no. Just no. What, you're telling me you're not going to have some fun with them? Probably not. We're not dating this person together. It's not my relationship. Then what do you get out of it? Nothing. It's not for me. It's not my relationship. <laughs> I would never let my woman... Let my woman... Let my woman... And I'm done. What's going on? Ooh, unfortunately that means you have lost this round of talk to a douchebag about polyamory. You had to keep up a conversation for one minute and you made it about 25 seconds. Fortunately, you do have an opportunity for a bonus round. Nope. Pass. I'm out. Okay, so this, this video has gone viral on TikTok. It's, I don't know if any of this is true. It's hard for me to imagine this man is married, but let's say he is. I don't see any kids around in the background. I don't, it doesn't, he doesn't sound like a father. It doesn't, um, you know, I don't see toys. I see probably his own toys. He seems like an overgrown adolescent saying, oh, I'm not. Are you kidding me? I, my wife can go date whoever. I, I'm just glad to, I'm go, glad to go along for the ride. Which raises the question to me. In what way is this guy married? I guess he, maybe he went to a judge. Maybe he even got married in a church or so. I don't know, but probably not. But like, I guess legally he's married, but what, what is marriage to that guy? This ties in with a lot of the debates we've all been having recently on, on what marriage is. This was the subject of my CPAC speech uh, on what men and women are, it, it all gets really blurry. And it proves the social conservatives were obviously totally correct, as they always are about everything. But when the social conservatives said, hey, if we really start tinkering around with marriage, if we really start tinkering around even with the sexual revolution, we're going to lose marriage. We're going to lose the very distinction between men and women. That's exactly what happened with this man. This man says his, his wife is half a lesbian and goes out and dates some girl. I wonder if he would be this passive if it were a man. Maybe he would. He, he seems to suggest that he would. He says, well, I don't, I don't let my woman do anything. She can do whatever she wants. And we, okay, so if you, if you and your wife have no obligations to one another, if you can just go do whatever you want, you can never tell the other person anything, you know, to, to do anything, and you, you can never be jealous even. Or, how are you married? It sounds like you're just roommates. And that's, that's what marriage is probably a lot of the time these days. You're just, you're sort of roommates. And this goes a lot deeper than just, you know, the dastardly homosexuals. It's real, I, I, sometimes the conservatives are a little too quick to blame those who are a little light in the loafers, you know, a little bit sweet, got a little sugar in the tank, when actually these problems go back a little bit further than that. Marriage, I made the audacious claim that marriage is a, a union of a man and a woman for the sake, ordered toward the education and procreation of children. That's, that's what it's for. You know a thing by what it's for. The leftist ears tumbler is for giving me leftist ears. The microphone is for uh, conducting my mellifluous tones to you. And, and that's what marriage is for. Okay, we got rid of that with contraception. We got, we got rid of that it's 50 years ago. More than 50 years ago at this point. Okay, so then what's next? Well, marriage is... Uh, a, a union of a man and a wife for the good of the spouses. Well, why has it just got to be a man and a wife? If we're, if we're taking children out of the equation, then why has it got to be a man and a wife? Oh, okay, all right, fair enough. It can be a couple of dudes. Hey, by the way, if now that we've taken children out of the equation and that children are the stickiest part about a marriage, why does it have to be a, a lifelong union? Can't we just kind of split it up? What if you just don't like this person anymore? Okay, yeah, we can split it up. We can have no fault divorce and we can erase the distinctions between the sexes and we forget about having children and we can... So then what is it? What is it? It's not that it's become something new. It's not that it's expanded to become something larger or greater. It just disappears. And husbands end up like this cuckold who, who brags about being a cuckold on TikTok to show how pr progressive he is. Yeah, we're, we're, all, we're all really being cuckolded. Not only of... Uh, losing the, the people dearest to us, as this guy has, of losing our whole civilization. That's what's happening. That's, a, that's a, a really supreme kind of cuckoldry. Microsoft is very proud of itself. Microsoft has just issued its uh, diversity and inclusion report for 2023. And it, it has the uh, results of its pay equity agenda. And the results of the pay equity agenda, they're very proud to brag about, 
are that racial minorities who are eligible for rewards earn $1.007 in total pay for every $1 that white employees earn. So you might say, well, that's not a huge difference. No, but they're just, they're pointing out there is a difference and the racial minorities make more money for the same jobs. Specifically, according to the report, black and African-American employees, I'm not quite sure what the distinction is there, but they make a distinction, earn $1.004 and Asian-American employees earn a higher $1.012 for every $1 earned by white employees with matching job titles and levels and tenure. So you might say, okay, well, hold on. Is this just some kind of bogus statistic like the gender pay gap? You always hear about this, how women make 75 cents on the dollar for every man for the same work. And the same. Except th- that turns out not to be true because when you control for experience, for hours worked, when you control for everything that would go into a job, when you even control for the, the aggressiveness with which men and women negotiate for higher pay, the gender pay gap totally disappears, which of course makes sense. If if employers could save 25% on labor costs, they would only hire women for every job, if, if you were actually getting the same work. The same logic does not quite hold up here. Are, are we really to believe that black and Asian employees are working that many more hours? We're told this is basically for the same work. Are, are we to believe that black and Asian employees are that much more aggressive and uh, uh, talented at negotiating raises and higher pay than the white employees? I just don't think that's quite true. I think the distinction in human nature between men and women is far greater than the distinction between the races. So I suppose the caveat here is, I have no doubt that Google hates white people. Google's made that pretty clear with the Google Gemini AI, which erases white people from all of history and all of modern society. I think it's quite clear with the um, leftist political activism that the Google personnel engage in. I think it's quite clear from the very fact that they have this diversity and inclusion report. See see how much we stick it to whitey? See how, how many more advantages we give to uh, non-white people and to women? Uh, so, they obviously have that preference, and they might even have a fear. We live in a culture now where, uh, by law, you are you are told to discriminate against white people. Even after the affirmative action case, which uh, where the Supreme Court said this is obviously racial discrimination, you can't you can't take points off white applicants for colleges and Asian applicants for colleges. E- even after all of that. Uh, you, you still have a lot of DEI initiatives which are intended to punish white people and to give some advantage to non-white people. So even then, you might have employers, even if they weren't big leftists, who would say, look, I, I don't want to deal with the racial discrimination lawsuit. I know that there's an entire bureaucracy on the side of uh, claims, real or imagined, of racial discrimination. So I'm just going to pay the racial minorities more because I just don't want to have to hear it. Yeah, whitey's bad. Go get whitey. He's terrible, right? Uh, I guess that's that's the only way I could see uh, racial minority men being all that much better at negotiating higher pay than than white men. Either way, it seems pretty perverse, pretty perverse that uh, one of the largest companies in the history of the world uh, is discriminating. And it, by the way, we're talking about Microsoft here. So we're not talking about Facebook. We're not talking about Google. We're not talking about, okay, we, we're talking about what I thought was one of the more uh, restrained when it comes to woke activism. And even still, you see them tatting, yeah, go get, go get Whitey. That guy's terrible. Go get him. We'll see how, we'll see how wonderful it is that we're paying him less. Man, that was a good clip, huh? Now, hold up. Ring the bell. Subscribe to the Michael Knowles YouTube channel. We'll see you next time.